Welcome to Friday Fun Day. As we look forward to the weekend, we can find ourselves looking for something new. You are invited to join us here at A Place of Faith where each week we offer a new idea or perspective for you to consider. We at A Place of Faith are delighted to share the path of spiritual enlightenment and the evolution of consciousness with you. Our intention is to share content with you that encourages interests and expands the horizons of your journey. Our mission is to create a safe place to explore and develop personal spiritual connections and relationships. Our vision is the joyous loving acceptance of all people as an expression of divine spirit and the ongoing evolution of consciousness to oneness. All are welcome here. Hi, you found us. Thank you for joining us today at A Place of Faith. Today we're doing one of our Friday Fun Day ideas. Happy New Year. This idea is to celebrate with you the new year. Have you ever had an idea and thought, I wish I'd thought of that sooner? Well, honestly, this idea is one of those for me. It came to me like last August. And I had really thought, oh, I wish I'd done it at the beginning of the year. So this is a perfect time to share it with you. When I first got into recovery, I was introduced to the idea of a God can. And here's how that works. When we're struggling with problems, when we've done all that we can do and the problem is still there, there's nothing more we can do. So we write it out and we put it into a can. You can decorate it, mark on it, whatever you want. And the idea is, I can't, I surrender, God can. And you put that in the can. So the idea is you leave that there for a year or whatever. At the end of the year, you go through, open it up and see all the ways that God has blessed you. All of the problems that you thought were insurmountable two months ago are really gone and the solutions are right in front of you. That's the way a God can is supposed to work. It doesn't really work that way for me. I found, especially early in recovery, I didn't have the patience for that. And I would write out all of my problems and put them in the God can and then within just a couple of days, I'd be opening that can and looking at it and still having those problems. So for me, I started writing my issues down and then flushing them down the toilet. <laughs> that was my God can, right? Just giving them up completely. And instead, I would write an affirmation or a visualization. If this problem was solved, how would my life be different? And I'd write that down and I'd put that in the can. That worked for me. I had other friends who wrote down beautiful affirmations or cut them out of magazines back when we had magazines, printed them out, that's probably more likely today, and put those affirmations in there. And whenever they were struggling with the problem, they would pull an affirmation out of that God can and they'd read it. And whatever it said, they would try and use that positive affirmation to see the problem differently. That worked really well, too. So the idea a place of faith is offering you today is kind of a spin-off of those ideas. I'm suggesting right now at the beginning of the new year, we decide to keep a blessing box. I've got a handy dandy pretty decorated box right here in my coat just like magic right with a slit cut in the top and the idea is that once a month or once a week or even better every day at the end of the day week or month we write down what the biggest blessings were that got us through the day or the week, or the month. You know what you're likely to really commit to. And I think that's important. We want something we're gonna commit to and keep going all year long. So if we're doing it every day, as we're getting ready for bed, we stop and write down what the biggest blessing of the day was. 
Now, whenever I'm starting a new habit, I like to hook it with something else. So if there's a medication I take at night, I would keep my paper right there. So when I went to take the medication, it would remind me, oh, what was my biggest blessing? And the idea behind this is if I'm keeping track of the biggest blessing of the day, when I get up, I start looking for what will my biggest blessing be? It might be when I first get up a beautiful sunrise and that was such a blessing and I might write about that. It might be a beautiful sunset in the evening. It might be a kindness that a stranger did for me. Maybe a phone call from somebody I really needed to talk to. Maybe it was just somebody let me in line at the shopping market or somebody let me hold their baby while they were checking out. So many blessings. If I'm in the habit of looking for the best blessing of the day, I'm creating a habit where I'm seeing God at work, blessings and kindnesses all day long. Then at the end of the day, if it's been particularly rough and I can't think of a single blessing, maybe I'll make one. Maybe that would be the motivating factor to take care of a chore that I've put off for way too long. Or maybe that would be the motivation to make a phone call or write a letter or just tell somebody how much I love them so that I've got some blessing to write at the end of the day. If I'm doing this every week, what was the high point of the week? Maybe I had several and I can make a list. Same if I'm doing it with the month. I can date these if I want to and keep the, the box going. Of course, if I'm doing it every day, I might need one of those big popcorn tins or, or uh, pickle buckets or something like that. And I can just watch my blessings grow throughout the year. Then at the end of the year, Instead of thinking all the things I'm going to leave behind me, the habits I'm not taking with me, whatever it is, I can look at all the blessings I'm bringing with me into the brand new year. We know that we manifest what we're thinking about. And if as I'm starting a brand new year, I'm really focusing on all the blessings that, that came up through the last year, I know I'm bringing those with me and creating even more for the next year. So our Friday fun day idea is a blessing box. Make it your own. Have fun with it. I hope that you will make notes in the comments and tell us what you're doing. Are you going to do it every week, every month? Do you have an even better idea? What are some of your blessings? We read and answer every single comment. We love to hear from you. And as always, if there's someone you know that would get benefit from watching this video, please share it. The more people who see it, the better it is for us and for them. Before we go, remember, you matter. You are sacred. And you are so very very loved. Namaste. Follow us on Facebook for daily meditations, prayers, and all of our videos. If you know of anyone anywhere who is struggling with spirituality or who wants a spiritual community, please share our videos. Commenting, liking, subscribing, and sharing are also ways to support us and help us grow. Reverend Linda is available by phone, Facebook Messenger, or Zoom conference for spiritual and ministerial counseling, guidance, and direction on a love offering basis. She can be reached through a place of faith at SoHoMail.com or through Unity Church of El Cajon. A place of faith is sponsored by Unity Church of El Cajon at 311 Highland Avenue, El Cajon, California, 92020. You can send donations there. Just put APOF on the check, or you can also contact us through our website 
at www.unityofelcajon.org and make your donations on the website. Thank you for your support.